Radar elevation in pelvic floor muscle training, evaluated by senior MRI, is associated with early recovery of continence after radical prostatectomy. I have no COI. In this presentation, I'd like to talk about new predictors for early recovery of continence after radical prostatectomy using CINI MRI. CINI MRI examination can provide dynamic and highly accurate measurements. So CINI MRI would have the potential of evaluating pelvic floor muscle movement. The objectives of the present study were to identify the risk factors of prostatectomy incontinence and confirm that good pelvic floor muscle training contribute to early recovery consciousness. A total of 128 prostate cancer patients were enrolled in the present study, and senior MRI was performed preoperatively and at six months after robot-assisted laparoscopic prostatectomy. Continence was defined as part free or safety part. In this study, we divided the patients into continence and incontinence group according to the recovery of continence within a month or not, as shown in the video. During pelvic floor muscle training, the bladder is elevated dynamically. Then, we defined the elevation length as bladder elevation length. Other dynamic and static parameters were also measured, such as membranous urethral length, posterior urethral vesical angle, and voiding bladder declination length. Statical analysis was shown as below. These are the results. In the two groups, there was no significant difference in any parameters. Urinary continence, continence rate was shown as below. In continence group, preoperative bladder elevation length was significantly longer than in continence group. Post-operative bladder elevation length of continence group also tended to be longer. Post-operative membranous urethral length and posterior urethral vesical angle were also better in continence group. As these videos shown, patients in continence group could perform effective pelvic floor muscle exercise. Multivariative analysis and Kaplan-Meier analysis also support the usefulness of preoperative bladder elevation lengths as a predictor of early continence recovery. Bladder elevation lengths would represent not only anatomical features, but also actual function of pelvic floor muscle. Long bladder elevation lengths might indicate better pelvic floor muscle training, and the biofeedback using CINI MRI has the potential to achieve early recovery of continence. This parameter is acquired from dynamic and highly accurate data of CINI MRI. From the present study, radar elevation length is a new predictor for early recovery of continence after radical prostatectomy. This is a first study to show that CINI MRI is useful for evaluating the level of pelvic floor muscle training skill and predicting the risk of prostatectomy incontinence. Thank you for your attention.